हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एप्टीट्यूड जैब दिस सेट से किंडर गार्टन टीचर रिवॉर्ड्स फाइव स्टूडेंट्स इन अर क्लास दे स्टैंड इन अ लाइन विद इन सम ऑर्डर एंड रिसीव कुकीज एंड चॉकलेट्स टू ईट द नंबर ऑफ कुकीज और चॉकलेट्स रिसीव बाय ईच स्टूडेंट इज अ नेचुरल नंबर फ्रॉम वन टू नाइन बोथ इंक्लूसिव एंड विद ईच नंबर अपियरिंग एट लीस्ट वंस okay now in this case we have five students and they received chocolates and cookies so we they received 10 items and 1 to 9 digits will appear at least once so that means one digit will repeat out of these nine digits now further we are given some more information that uh, the number of cookies distributed is two more than the number of chocolates distributed carol was middle in uh, in the middle of the line so we are given the position also so we need to find the number of cookies and chocolates and the positions of these people so if you see the questions total number of cookies distributed chocolates received position of david etc so we'll make a table and a line that these are the five people this is the first person and this is the last person in the queue and we will also find the number of cookies and chocolates so we have five people a b c d e and the total So we'll solve for this table and then answer the questions. All right. So the first information that we have is we are not given the total number of cookies or chocolates, but we can figure that out using these digits that we are given and also some more information which is presented to us. So we know that like digits one to nine appear. So sum from one to nine is forty-five. So the number has to be more than forty-five. Okay. Now it says the number of cookies distributed is two more than the number of chocolates distributed. So suppose total chocolates are x, then total cookies will be x plus two. So total the number of items will be two x plus two, which is an even number. Now forty-five sum we know because one to nine if we add we get forty-five. Now we need to get an even number as a total. Even number as a total means we can get forty-six as the total. If this uh, the remaining number is one, the number total will be forty-six. If the remaining number is three, the total will be forty-eight. If the remaining number is five, the total will be fifty. If the remaining number is seven, the total will be fifty-two. If the remaining number is nine, the total will be fifty-four. So the total has to be one out of these numbers. Okay. Now let us read further information and then solve the set. Carol, who was in the middle of the line, so Carol is here, received more items put together than everyone else. So Carol will receive the highest number of items. Emily received eight more cookies than chocolates. Okay. So now this is an uh, interesting case. Extreme case like eight more cookies than chocolates, so that means nine cookies and one chocolates makes sense. Nine cookies, one chocolates, total ten items. Okay. The person who is the last in the queue received ten items in all. Now, please do not take Emily as the last person because there may be multiple people who are last in the queue. okay so one possible thing that some people might take is emily here why alice received only half as many in total so the last person received 10 items alice received half of that so alice received a total of 5 items okay bob is after alice but before david in the queue bob is after alice but before david in the queue so they will come in this order The number of cookies Bob received equals the number of chocolates Alice receives. So this number is equal. So we finally found out the number which is equal. We said that one digit repeats. 
out of these nine digits and that digit is this one. Now, what can be that digit? If you see, this number has to be less than 5 because we will have some number here. It, it cannot be till 5. So, we can rule out these three possibilities. So, it has to be either 1 or it has to be either 3. Now, if we see this, if we put this number as 1, these chocolates. So, uh, cookies received by Bob and chocolates received by Alice. So, if you put this one, so one appears three times, which is not possible because we have to have all the digits present at least once. So, nine digits and one extra digit. So, we cannot have any digit three times. So, this means this is also eliminated. So, the answer is, I mean, the number that we will repeat is three. So, this solves a couple of questions. How many chocolates did Alice receive? So, this is three. Total number of cookies distributed. Now, total number of items is 48, 2x plus 2. So, x is 23. So, we have chocolates 23 and cookies distributed will be 25. So, two of the questions have been answered. Now, we will have to fill the remaining table and also answer these questions. All right. Now, these cookies will be 2. Total is 5. The next information is given to us as Bob receives one more item than David and one less than Carol. Okay, so Bob, David and Carol. He says Bob receives one more item than David. So David receives, let us say N item. So Bob will receive N plus 1 and Bob receives one less than Carol. So Carol will receive N plus 2 items. Okay, now we know the total number of items distributed is 48. So, these three in total receive 3n plus 3 items and this is 15. If we add 15 to it, we get 48. So, 3n is 30, n equals to 10. So, David receives 10 items, Bob receives 11 items and Carol receives 12 items. Now, as I said that last person, we could not have taken Emily because now we see that David is also possible. All right. Now this will be eight, and then uh, the person second in the queue receives an odd number of chocolates and an odd number of cookies. Now we will have to find odd number of chocolates and odd number of cookies. We know the last person receives ten items. So case one, let us assume that last person is Emily. We have two possible people who could be the last in the queue. So if we take the last person as Emily. So, in this case, we will have A, B, C, D, E as the Q and it says the second person receives an odd number of chocolates and odd number of cookies. But does Bob receive odd number of chocolates and cookies? No. So, this means our assumption that the last person is Emily is incorrect. So, what we will take? We will take the other case that the last person is David. If the last person is David, we have to arrange these people in order. Uh, Alice, Bob and Emily. Okay, so they can be in any order. Now, if you look at Alice, Alice cannot be the second person. Okay, so Alice cannot come here. Definitely, uh, if we take Bob also, Bob is also not possible in this position. Because it the person should have odd number of chocolates and odd number of cookies. So, we cannot have Alice and Bob here. So, that means we will have Emily here and Alice will come here and Bob will come here. So, this is the order in which they are standing. Okay. Now, what we are left with, we, uh, we have exhausted all this information. We need to fill in these four numbers. Now, we have used all these digits. We need to make a sum of 12. How can we make a sum of 12 using two different digits? We can either make 3, 9, 4, 8 or 5, 7. Okay. Now, 3 is already used and moreover twice. 4, 8, 8 is also used. We cannot use 8 again. So, we will make 5 and 7. Okay. Now, we do not know in what order. Like if it is 5, this will be 7. If this is 7, this will be 5. 
Now, if we see the total is 25, 5, 10, 90, in this case it will be 6. If we see 5, 12, 21, so this will be 4. Similarly, if we take this total, 11, 18, 19, this is 4 and 11, 16, 17, this will be 6. So this completes our table. We get the number of cookies and chocolates received by each of these people. The only thing we cannot figure out is Carol and David, the number of cookies and chocolates they will receive in that order. Okay, but we can, if we are given one particular condition, we can complete the table. So this completes the table and now let us answer the remaining questions. What is the position of David in the queue? So David is fifth in the queue. Who received the maximum number of chocolates? So maximum chocolates is of course received by Bob. How many cookies did Carol receive? So Carol, we cannot tell the number of cookies that Carol received. So this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you enjoyed solving this set.